welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today I am so excited to be introducing two new backdrop dies. We have our Sunrise backdrop and also our Sun Ray backdrop. And I love these dies so much. They're so much fun to use. So let's go ahead and check them out. These dies create a backdrop that's a standard size card size at five and a half by four and a quarter. And you can see that it makes this gorgeous sun look with beautiful stitching on it. So they're stitching all the way around and then stitching on the rays as well. And so we have the sunrise look and then the sun ray look. One of the things that I love to do with these dies is change their orientation on my card. So here you can see the sunrise look, but here is kind of a sunset look, depending on how you actually place it on your card. For the sun ray die, there's a bunch of different looks you can do. So you can do it coming from that upper left hand corner or coming from the sides of the cards as well. And all of the looks are absolutely gorgeous. It just kind of depends on what you're going for. The other thing that I really love about these dies is that they're great for scenes, but they're also great for really graphic cards. And so we're going to be working on two cards today that show those ideas. First, we're creating a scene card using the sun ray backdrop. So I'm going to die cut that from some sticky note cardstock. And then I'm also going to cut down a piece of mermaid cardstock to be five and a half by four and a quarter that can layer behind to be the sky. The next thing we're going to do is take out some peacock cardstock to be our ocean. And we're going to use one of the new stitched simple wavy borders. And we're going to run that through the die cut machine and have this really cool ocean wave to layer behind our sun rays. We're also going to create a little sand at the beach. So I've got some craft cardstock and a simple stitched hillside border. We'll run that through the die cut machine too, and you'll see there that our scene is starting to form. To create some cool layers, we've taken our ocean piece here, and we're going to layer that straight onto our sky. Then we'll take our sun rays and layer that over the ocean. Then the sand will be in front of the sun rays. And so I really love the fact that we've got things behind and in front of the sun rays. It really helps integrate that whole die into a really cute scene. Here is a stitched rectangle frame and we're gonna die cut that from some guava cardstock and just add a little tape runner along the edges of that sandy border and then we're going to attach that pink frame to the border. And the reason we're doing this now is because I want to do my stamping and I want to make sure that I have that frame as a guide as to where I'm going to do the stamping. So I've lined up my sentiment that's coming from the new On the Beach stamp set in my Misty tool here. We're going to ink it up with some black licorice ink and stamp out have a relaxing summer. You've earned it. Which I think would be really cute with a, for a grad or even as a teacher present for the end of the year. So now we're going to layer our whole sandy beach and frame on top. And then I went ahead and stamped and colored a bunch of cute images from the On the Beach stamp set. So the first thing we're going to do is add that adorable fox to his beach towel. And then we're going to give him some cool shades. And every time I add these sunglasses, I just giggle to myself. It's the cutest thing ever. Then we'll go ahead and add a bunch of foam squares to the backs of all of these and layer them onto the card. So we're going to layer our cute little fox and then we'll layer the beach umbrella. And what I did was I ended up just trimming off a little piece of the umbrella just to have it be a little bit closer to the fox. I didn't want it to cover up so much of the sun. So I just trimmed off that edge and then tucked it behind the fox so you can't even tell that we did that. And then we can layer on the sunscreen and his cute little coconut drink. The next thing we'll do is take a standard size card base there made out of some white cardstock, add some tape runner and layer the whole scene on top. This card was really quick and easy to put together because it was mostly die cutting, but it is so cute. It's absolutely adorable. And you could change that have a relaxing summer to birthday, day, all sorts of different things. Now that we've created a cool scene with one of these dies, we're gonna create a really cool graphic element. So we've taken out a bunch of cardstock pieces and then we're gonna take out their coordinating ink pads and we're using the gingham backdrops die. So we're gonna ink up that die with some guava ink and stamp it onto some guava cardstock for a really cool tone on tone look. We're gonna stamp each of these twice to give it a nice bold look on the cardstock. Then we're going to repeat the same thing with the fake tan cardstock. So we'll ink up that gingham backdrops and then stamp that down. Then we can go along with the rest of the colors in the rainbow. So we've got our sunflower cardstock, cilantro cardstock, then we've got some mermaid. And to finish out our Roy G. Biv, we've got some sugar plum cardstock and ink with that really awesome gingham pattern. Next, we're going to take the sunrise backdrop and we're going to die cut a piece of white cardstock. We're again going to take that whole backdrop and layer it onto a card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And we'll just use some liquid glue, the glue tube there to do that. 
And then next we're going to cut out the sun rays and we're going to fill them in. So we're going to take that first piece of guava cardstock and layer that onto the sunrise backdrop there over to the left and we'll run that through the die cut machine. And you'll see we're going to pop out those sun rays that we're going to be feeding into this really cool card design with an inlaid die cut technique. So now we're going to repeat the same idea. We're going to take our fake tan cardstock and run that through the die cut machine and then pop out some of those sun rays. So we've got our fake tan and our sunflower and you can see how cool this is looking already. I really love that awesome gingham pattern. This idea is so cool and you can do it with stamped backgrounds like we did here. You could do it with some pattern paper scraps which would be a great way to use up scraps. And you could do the same idea with the sun ray backdrop too which would just be a different look and a different orientation on your card. But this rainbow sun ray idea is the cutest thing. So now that we've got all of our cute colors, we can add some little liquid glue in the openings of those sun rays and start dropping in all of the pieces. And you can see as this forms how gorgeous it is. I love seeing the bright colors with that white backdrop. It just really makes them stand out. And so now we can just add the rest of them in. And then of course to finish up this whole sun look we need to add a little sun piece at the bottom. So we're going to be using some sticky note cardstock and we've run that through with one of the outside in stitched circles. So it's really great because it's going to match up with the stitching on the base of this sun. So we're going to layer that on there with a nice little white border and then just use a pencil here to mark off what we need to trim off so that it's going to be the perfect size. So we'll put that in the paper trimmer, trim off that little excess, add some foam squares to the back and then layer that onto the sun and you can see how that really finishes off this whole look. Here we have the new hello border and it's one of my new favorite word dies and we're going to run that through with some black cardstock which is going to be a really nice contrast to all of this rainbow color. Then we'll add a little liquid glue on the back and layer that onto the yellow sun part of this card. Then we can trim off those excess edges. That's one of the reasons why I love these border dies is they've got such long tails that you could fit them on anything and then just trim off what you don't need. To finish this card up and add a little sparkle and shine, we're going to take a bunch of sequins and put different size sequins layered all over the card. And my favorite way to do this, and it's Shari's favorite way too, is to layer the sequins onto the card, kind of see how you like them. And once you know how you like them, you can take out your liquid glue, pick them up, and then add a little drop of liquid glue and put it right back down. And that way you can really mess around with the placement until it's perfect and then finally attach them on there. And so now the card is all done and I love the bold design of this. I love that these backdrop dies are great for bold cards like this and they're great for scene building. So next up we have some gorgeous cards by the design team and this card by Lynette is the cutest thing ever. I love how she die cut that cute little smiley face and layered it onto the sun and added the clouds. Absolutely adorable. This scene by Elise is just gorgeous. She did some beautiful ink blending on the sunrise backdrop and she dropped in those ray pieces for a cool inlaid look. This card by Elena is just stunning. I love how she combined this awesome sun ray with our new tropical backdrop. And here Kay created some really cool bold distress inking with this background. Just stunning. I love how Melissa created a sunset look by cutting those cool tropical backdrop leaves out of black glitter and then having that amazing sunset in the background. And then here Elise's card is so sweet. I love how she used the sun rays but then covered up the sun part with clouds to get a totally different look. And then Melissa used one of these dies as a stencil to create this amazing sunset background. So I cannot wait to see how you guys use these dies, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!